Hi guys, are you getting ready for another shopping spree? Hold it right there. Here at Crafty Panda Bubbly, we are sure you have plenty of options in your wardrobe you've never thought of before. Don't believe us? Then check out all these ideas on how to tie a scarf. Our friend Anna will get you through these hacks in no time. For most of these styles, you will need something pretty big, like a long silk pareo, an Indian dupata, or even a good old woolen poncho. They might be slowly going out of style, but it would be a shame to waste so much soft, warm material, wouldn't it? Basically, the bigger the better. A square shape is also a good idea for most of our tricks. Just look at this one, where Anna simply folds a big scarf in a harmonica and then puts it through a rubber band wrapper around her waist. So simple, yet so effective. Don't forget a safety pin. Nobody wants a wardrobe malfunction in the middle of an important romantic encounter. Let's talk material for a second. The good news is, with scarves, anything goes. If you're buying a new one, there's just but one rule to follow. You have to feel good in it. Silky textures for the summer, soft wool for the winter. Look at this brilliantly simple way to make a sexy edgy top in just four swift moves. A triangle-shaped neckline will accentuate your shoulders and arms. We know what you're thinking. Oh, but those hacks work only for skinny women. Wrong. It's all about the type of material you use, the pattern and the way you want it wrapped around your body. Remember, big patterns make you visually bigger. So plain colors and vertical stripes are your best choice if you wish to smoothen your shape. For example, if you have broad hips and tight shoulders, Wear a top with a large pattern in plain pants or a clutch skirt. This way your hips will seem smaller and your silhouette will visually have more balance. Likewise, if you need more volume around your hips, choose buffy flared skirts with contrasting patterns. You'll be amazed what a proper piece of clothing can do. Whatever your body type is, don't be afraid to experiment. You never know what you may come up with, but remember, you are gorgeous just the way you are, and don't need to hide it. Flaunt it. Here's an exercise in organizing for all our gorgeous viewers. Go through your wardrobe and tell us in the comments how many of your clothes you haven't been wearing for more than a year. Ready? Ah, uh, yes, we thought so. But don't worry, we're no less guilty than you are. Don't go throwing those out just yet. Here's a compilation of some sewing hacks that will definitely get you inspired to reuse them once again. For example, let's look at this simple hack, just four press buttons and underwear as a template, and you got yourself a skin-tight bodysuit. Isn't that clever? Might be a savior for all girls with broad hips, where a top rolling upward is always an issue. Not anymore. You can use practically everything you find in your wardrobe, yes, including your boyfriend's undies. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? Look at that ridiculous oversized t-shirt. Where did you get that from, girl? An elderly auntie sent it from Hawaii? Well, let's not diss it too much. Just a couple of stitches and a bit of wiggling and you can turn it into a very cute armless cocktail dress with pockets. Wild thing, you make my heart sing. Thanks, auntie. Ah, uh, again with these oversized shirts. I guess we're all guilty of getting a bit too carried away in a shopping mall. Or maybe you found something really cool and cheap secondhand that you just couldn't pass and now don't know how to incorporate it into your daily style? Howdy there, cowgirl. You know what else is massively cool? Being able to use one piece of clothing in two different ways. Anna will show you how to make a sexy evening dress out of an oversized sweater and all you need is just two safety pins for that hack. Look at that color. If you have a boring black top laying around, the easiest way to upgrade it is to use a bit of bleach. You can use tape like shown here in the video, or you can cut out paper shapes of whatever you want. Just be sure to work on a clean surface. You don't want your surroundings to get bleached as well. Safety first. Since we got ourselves some new old clothing, took care of whatever's been gathering dust, it's time to use some simple storage hacks to make that wardrobe ready for all your future shopping adventures. Undies out of a wet white box? Say what? 
You know that magic folding trick you've seen your friends do but never figured out how they do it? Watch our video, and if it's going too fast, you can pause at any time. You will be able to fold t-shirts flawlessly in seconds, saving yourself time and bother. And here are a couple ways on how to fold some sweaters. Some of you might agree, they are particularly tricky. If you simply hang them on a coat hanger, they might stretch and lose their shape. Try our folding techniques instead and worry no more. We all know that folding clothes in a proper way not only influences their lifespan, but also the amount of space we have in our wardrobe in general. Everyone's a bit messy once in a while, though making a habit out of those little hacks will definitely make your lives easier. Rolling up is one fashionable way to do it. And you can roll almost everything with a bit of a stretch, be it towels, hoodies, or jeans. There are even different ways to roll it. This will also take less space in your luggage. And we all know how difficult it is to fit oneself in these tiny cabin bags, right? Here's one more advantage of proper folding, less ironing. And less ironing means less burned clothes when you lose yourself with a joyful chat with your BFF over the phone. If only there was some way to make our drawers bigger on the inside. Well, until then, we just have to learn how to make the most of the space we already have. Good jeans are meant to be thick and don't give in to folding so easy. So why not try these two versions of rolling them up in a cute denim burrito? Choose whichever one you like. The second one is great if you want to know which pair of jeans you're grabbing exactly. That'll do. Hey, is that a little bit of space there? You know what they say, style is in the details. A tiny piece of thread sewn between the seams can make all the difference. Pull and zip it in. Simple. We'll show you some clever ways to use everyday objects and make your clothes nicer and rooms tidier. No space in your closet? No problem. Check out what you have laying around. A can pin is your friend if you need to squeeze in that extra jacket. And a shower curtain ring will help you organize all those shawls and scarves you bought for those stylish clothing hacks. It's crazy how many clothes we can still fit in once we know how to do it. We assume that by this point, all of your clothes are laying around everywhere. Worry not. We are not done here yet. Some pieces of wardrobe are made to malfunction. So why not use a bit of ingenuity and stop those arms from going up? Take two safety pins for each arm and two rubber bands. Attach them to the inner lining of the shirt and see what happens. You may still need to fix your hair, but no more fixing those shoulders. Eh, senorita? Who said your old boyfriend's business shirts are good for nothing? Use the bottom part and sew in a piece of elastic to transform it into a sexy, elegant skirt you can wear even for company meetings. Don't make it too tight, though, and allow a bit more space than a size of your waist. It's easier to make it tighter than wider. Let's see how we can modify our jeans to make them something completely different. Sometimes your jeans become too loose because of wear and tear, but don't worry. Here comes our good old rubber band again. This is a very quick fix you can even do during your lunch break. If you're in a hurry, that is. See for yourself. Here's before and after. How about shortening your jeans without the use of scissors? Impossible, you might say? Not for us. Check out this clever way of shortening jeans by just using some pins and a thread. You could use a sewing machine for this hack, but we think sewing it manually is a bit safer in case you make a mistake. Want to add a bit of flair to your old pair? How about a bit of destruction with a grater? Another modification is a bit of bleach sprayed as if it were blotches of paint. Use a bottle with holes in the cap. It's the irregularity of the spots. Or just use scissors. Why not? Take the shorter threads out with a pincer. Washing it out in a washing machine takes too much time. Amazing effects all the way for all our rebellious pandas out there. Imagine how much you would have to pay for new jeans with an effect like that. 
You know what, guys? Let's finish it off with the absolute classic. How to sew on a button. Seems pretty obvious, isn't it? Well, let's not diminish its importance. After all, we started our sewing adventure with fixes as simple as that. So, how many clothes did you upgrade and fix already? See you next time!